Hello, welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Books Aren't for Eating by Carly Sorciak and illustrated by Manu Montoya. This book is about a goat who owns a bookstore. He used to like eating books until he, de he decided that he loves reading them more. Let's see what he does with one of his customers that likes to eat books. See you soon. Leopold collected two things that he loved very, very much. Warm sweaters, with goats on them, of course, and books. Once he learned not to eat them and how to turn the pages. Sometimes he imagined himself inside the books he read. He was a pirate, a figure skater, an astronaut gently floating through space. It was comforting to become these characters to live in their worlds. But his favorite thing was picking out books for others to read. It gave him such a pleasant feeling, like introducing someone to a friend. Leopold owned an old bookshop, bookshop with tiny aisles and huge shelves, and he selected the books very carefully. For the witty woman in the feathered hat, he suggested a book about birds. Crows, Leopold thought, are clever too. A man in a gray coat said he'd like to laugh with his whole, f whole belly. So Leopold found a novel about gnomes, which was very funny indeed. He chose an adventure tale for the girl in rain boots. She had the spirit of an explorer. He rec recommended books about everything. Hula hoops, faraway places, dogs of the world... Each fit its readers snugly and warmly like a sweater. This made Leopold happy. Most of his customers were human, but one day Leopold was overjoyed to see another goat walking into the shop. How may I help you, Leopold asked. I'd like a nice book if you'd be so kind. I have just the thing, said Leopold. In the back room, Leopold selected a story from his special collection. Very good, the customer said. Then he ate the pages. No, cried Leopold, books aren't for eating. Oh dear, said the goat, I'm terribly sorry. What are they for then? So Leopold resolved to show him. He would find the perfect book for reading, not for eating. He searched far and wide through stack after stack. He even used, all, used the tall ladder. How's this? Excellent. Chomp, chomp. What about this? Brilliant. Much, much. Book after book after book, the goat ate them all. This is going on your bill, said Leopold. Goodbye, said the goat. At dinner that night, Leopold's wife asked him about work. I had a tricky customer, Leopold said. He kept eating the books. Well, so did you once. That was a long time ago, Leopold said, but it gave him an idea. The next morning, when the goat came back, Leopold was ready. This was my favorite book, he said, the first one I didn't eat. It excited me, challenged me, and made me feel less alone. The goat looked at the book and looked and opened his mouth. Suddenly, the book flipped open to page one. Oh, said the goat. He read the first line, then the next, and the next. He couldn't stop. All day, he curled up in the shop and read. Leopold smiled hard aglow. I'll pick out some more for you tomorrow. Thank you for the, the goat said. These stories fill me up. Some books are just too good to eat. So, books are for reading, not for eating, aren't they? I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you again tomorrow.